The 3PG we made in the last step of our phosphoglycerate kinase, in this step with phosphoglycerate mutase, moves the 3 phosphate group over onto the 2 position. Now, this uses a really kind of clever and unique uh, modified enzyme known as a phosphohistidine. And as we've seen before, a protonated nitrogen is a great leaving group. We saw that with both NAD, we saw it with shift bases, we saw it with all sorts of different things, and it's really no different here. Now, this phosphate is easily put on and taken off using this histidine. So what we're going to do is actually go through a clever intermediate where we have both a 2 and a 3 phosphate on, and we're going to pluck off one or the other so we can flip, switch back and forth between 3 and 2 phosphoglycerate. Delta G on this is pretty low. Uh, it's pretty easy to do right around equilibrium. Uh, and these things are going to move pretty quickly between 3 and 2 phosphoglycerate. Now the reason that we're doing this in the first place is so that we can generate a high energy bond so that we can make our second substrate level phosphorylation. So our arrow push is going to be this. Our second histidine in the active site is going to pull off a hydrogen at 2. That bond electron is going to then attack the phosphorus on phosphohistidine and give a, a push a pair up onto the double bondo. So here we actually see that we have the two phosphate actually bound. We have a trigonal bipyramid uh, intermediate here and uh, we're going to kick down this pair to reform our double bondo and we're going to displace the best leaving group which is our positive nitrogen here. So we're going to end up with a 2,3 BPG now this might sound familiar because this is actually the hemoglobin allosteric effector. So it helps uh, produce better oxygen delivery responses at high altitudes, for example. And so you can see here we have the 2,3 BPG. If this was released at this step, then it would be uh, used to out regulate hemoglobin allosteric. In this enzyme, though, it doesn't stop here. Now, remember, we're trying to move the 3 to the 2. Right here, we have our, our bisphospho intermediate. And so the last thing we need to do is pull off the 3 to leave the 2 in place. So we just moved it like this. Push our arrows from our old histidine to make a new phosphohistidine intermediate. So here we again have our trigonal bipyramid. We can pop that thing down. And here we're going to displace the, and this should be positive. I forgot that. Uh, we're going to displace the bisphosphoglycerate here, and we're going to actually protonate from the other histidine to recharge the enzyme. So we're going to end this reaction by having a 2-phosphoglycerate, a phosphohistidine, and a unprotonated histidine for our base transfer. So here we go. Here's our 2PG. Our phosphohistidine is recharged. Again, we should have a positive charge on this nitrogen. No lone pair. Get out of there, lone pair. And our deprotonated histidine for base transfers. So that is our phosphoglycerate mutase.